Okay, for the second part of my day today on July 4th, 2023, finished Capilano Suspension Bridge. Now I'm gonna take the gondola here at Grass Mountain. It'll give me overlooks of Vancouver. So, have a few hours. Uh, might as well go to the top, see what it's like. Uh, there are hiking trails there, but I'll just be there for the views. So I paid $4 to park and uh, it'll be about 70 for the gondola, Canadian. Okay, Grouse Mound is a park as well. Here it is, Skyride entrance, straight ahead. There it is, Grouse Mountain gondola coming on down. Okay, I'll buy my ticket right in here. For a ticket. Okay, just got my ticket. Ready to take the gondola. I can't believe they're up to eighty dollars now. Just just jack it to a hundred already. Anyways, they also got this um, basically just schedule uh, ranger talks, meet some animals, grizzly bear habitat. They have a lumberjack show. Um, another chair lift to the peak, so all right, let's get started and hop on the gondola. They say on a clear day like today, visibility should be 80 kilometers or 50 miles. This is the entrance, let's get going. I would also like to acknowledge that Grass Mountain is located on the unceded territories of the coast of the Salish people, the Squamish, Mesquam, and Slavar First Nations. We value the opportunity to live more. Mm. Top of Grouse Mountain. Uh, gonna go inside the building, maybe find some good views there. But it's similar to in Squamish. See the sky gondola? Yeah, they got activities and hiking and hanging out all right we'll go inside first off that ride to the top was bad you don't get any views and the windows are dirty i don't get it all right let's go inside the lodge They have an outfitter's store if you want to buy some clothing, gifts. They have a cafe. Let's see what's on the menu. Pizza, comfort food. Let's go outside here. All right, I don't know, I can't really see much. It's hazy. Okay, they have a gift shop down here. Maybe I could buy a little souvenir. Okay, right here, observation deck. Let's see what's going on. There's nobody here. Yeah, I just don't get it. It's like you don't see anything. Like, what am I supposed to be looking for? It's frustrating. Here, outside the observation deck, here's the Georgia Street Lookout. I'll go right to the edge. Yeah, I just don't get it. It's just nothing to view. This was a mistake. Well, anyways, there is a chairlift that takes you higher. So I'm gonna go find that. It's, uh, I don't know. Hopefully get some better angles there, but I just not, go higher but you don't see anything I don't know okay I just spoke with guest services so they said this Cascade Mountains lookout by the grizzly 
habitat is worthwhile. That plus the peak chairlift, like I just mentioned. It's funny, I was actually gonna ask for a refund because I was that disappointed. But let's just check out these two viewpoints and take it from there. Okay, grizzly habitat, scenic peak chairlift, that way. Funny lumberjack show, when I go to Ketchikan, Alaska, I'm doing a lumberjack show. Okay, there's the peak chairlift. Let's get on that ASAP. Sure. All right, this is for me and yeah, nice. I uh, just cut the line because uh, they were looking for just one passenger and that was me and I'm riding with a friend of mine here. But So yeah, for this um, peak chairlift, it only runs till seven o'clock, but the gondola going to the top of Grouse Mountain here goes till nine o'clock. So that's why I wanna do this chairlift first and then do the rest of the explore. This is really high up. I'm glad I have a friend here to talk to because otherwise I'd be pretty nervous. <laughs> This is a cool sign, Peak of Vancouver Lookout. This is the Peak of Vancouver Lookout. So if you get the right angle with the sun in the afternoon, it could be worthwhile. Walking past the chairlift. I don't even know what this is, a wind turbine, but Interesting. It's called the Eye of the Wind, but it's not open. Yeah, you could even get higher perspectives going to the top of that thing. You could do zip lining here, even though nobody's zip lining. All right, just past Eye of the Wind is this wilderness lookout. Let's see if there's a view or anything. No, just your typical obstruction of trees. Now there's some zip liners. I just noticed this. This guy's getting ready to do hang gliding off the mountain. I gotta catch this. Okay, oh, 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 this is looking promising. Oh yeah, yeah! Look at that, that's a view. Like a plane, he took off. Okay, gonna head back down the scenic peak chairlift and hopefully do some more extra exploring while here. See, this is nice. On the ride back down, you're getting the views in. Okay, the grizzly bear habitat. Let's go check it out. This is the grizzly enclosure they have. Um, I don't know, all they just do is stand there and eat. They have a birds in motion. Um, presentation. Oh, 
Well, this is Cascade Mountain's lookout. I mean, it's next to the Birds of Prey, but there's nothing to see here. So you could scratch uh, this overlook off the to-do list. Okay, uh, this is some perspective of Cascade Mountain's Overlook. I mean, now that the bird show is finished, kind of quiet setting. But um, yeah, I've run out of things to do here at Grouse Mountain. Um, I gotta say, this is probably one of my least enjoyable experiences uh, for my 2023 road trip so far. Um, pretty underwhelming. The gondola up here had nothing to see. The chairlift was nice. Um, otherwise, Vancouver Peak Lookout was decent. Just to pay $80 Canadian plus another, you know, 4 or $5 for parking. Um, I don't know. It was a letdown. But hey, everything can't always be perfect. Anyways, I now this is the last activity I'm doing in uh, Canada. So I'm heading back to the U.S. So Anyways, my stand almost just fell over. But uh, yeah, two weeks before I depart from Seattle out to Ketchikan, Alaska for four days. So I'll just take a break for a little uh, while. I didn't get a chance to see this, but you know, I was here half the day. But this is the Lumberjack Show. So ending my time here at Grouse Mountain on a high note. I'm at, um, it's called Georgia Street Lookout, but it's front of the uh, Peak Chalet and you get scenic views of downtown Vancouver and uh, yeah, so just appreciate being up here and doing the experience and thank you all for coming along on the ride today and I'll see you on the next one. I'm going to the last year. I'm going to the last year. I'm going to the last year.